I know exactly where you are. Map. Where your buddies are B. I know exactly where you are. He made teleports at 1021 on the clock here in the VOD. 1021. I believe a literal enemy has taken the teleporter. 21 seconds. I think I just recently saw your lamp explanation hold at the time. Yeah, no, I can tell your problem. Your problem is you're trying to learn too much and this will never work. It's detrimental. You're thinking way too much about the game. You have to learn in tiny little bite-sized pieces and you're skipping over all the fundamentals. Where the fuck is your minimap light switch? It's nowhere to be seen. You're out here trying to learn like the intricacies of holding U-Haul optimally while you're in Platinum 3 and you don't even look at your minimap. Your priorities are so out of whack, it's not even funny. Like, you don't aim your crosshair at head height and you're out here like, let's go study optimal bind macro. No, no, look at this shit. You hear that? That was Cypher teleporting. You don't even notice that because you know what? You're out here thinking like, okay, I've got U-Haul. Now, how do I hold U-Haul correctly? And the worst thing is, if this was a retake, let's pretend that your dudes are over here and we planted. The worst thing is you're still an idiot because they've got Brimstone ult and you shouldn't be playing U-Haul because they're just going to retake A with Brim ult and you lose. <laughs> so you still can't be U-Haul. <laughs>
Be careful about pushing that smoke. Bro, y your pacing gets a an F minus. Your sky is backside right now. You are showers clearing the dude who might be in this corner. Like, we don't have time to take orb right now. I know you want the orb, but if you're going to take the orb, these dudes need to slow down and they're not going to slow down. I know you want to molly the smoke, but dude, just spray the corner. Just spray the corner, spray the corner, go. We don't have time. Look, look at this. We're all about pushing that smoke. Careful now. Smoke is... Oh fuck, I messed up my smoke on CT. You molly because of Omen Calm. Be careful about pushing that smoke. No, you fucking don't. You're already throwing it before he's done calming you, Coper. You're already throwing it. Sage is long. Cypher, Cypher in A. We should hit B. Okay. Long, buddy. Going up. Going back. There's a lock garden. Watch your eyes. I'm going to blind garden. Yeah, you garden. push it. Okay. Blind it. Blind it. Blind. Satchel out. On the right, one more. Okay. One more. One more. Flash. He's still blind. He's still blind. SP. Good trip. Spike down B. Last player standing. Yeah, yeah. There's a phantom on the ground over there. Are you like just not gonna grab that? One more, one more. Also, like you flash this guy. Why are you not just routing straight forward to kill him? So blind, so blind. What why did we do that? Why did we wait? The f Good trip. Spike down B. Last player standing. With a phantom! Yeah, yeah do it. Phantom! Bonus round, I was thinking bomb plant and orb. <laughs> I mean, low key based that you bait the omen, but not based that you don't like say you're going to do it. Cypher trip. Might be a trip. Okay. So here's my take. I, I'm actually fine if you don't hold push to talk. If you don't hold push to talk and you go, I'm going to bait omen here. Okay. Then I actually think you're chilling. But you know why I can't accept your explanation? I, I have to presume you're wrong and you're lying. Because literally last round, you claimed that you mollied the smoke because the omen told you to. So I know from the get-go, you're the type of person who reaches for excuses as to why they did something. You just reach out into the void for an excuse. And because you're that type of person, plenty of people are like that. This is not like, I'm not calling you bad. This is not a problem. You just have to recognize this is how you are. Many humans are like this. I'm like this in certain scenarios. Because you're that type of person, I can't accept your justification in hindsight. If there's no proof that that's why you did it in the moment, I must presume that it's just an error. So if you were instead, even without holding push to talk, if you go, I'm going to beat this omen, get more orbs, then I'll be like based. But I genuinely don't think that you are that conscious. You know why? If you are that heads up, then explain to me why the f you don't grab the phantom, buddy. Player standing. Yeah. If you're so heads up that you're like, oh, wait, I'm not going to peek. I'm going to let Omen peek so I can trade, get the orb, and then go plant and get another orb. If you're that heads up, then why the f aren't you grabbing the phantom? Because you're not that heads up and you're you're just coping in, in hindsight. Does anybody play anti? I'm going long. Uh, the joke's over. You're dead. Okay, so first things first. We saw a lot, and I feel like we calmed nothing. Sage could be over here right now, or she's stuck in Octagon. I feel like we're kind of missing that calm for our poor Owen who's playing alone. Phoenix's elbow, I don't even think we calmed that. Gap in the smoke, I think. Gap in the smoke on the rice. Like, what's up with this Sage right now? Am I crazy? I don't think I'm crazy. Yeah, there she is. I'm not crazy. She's Octagon. And she has been this whole time. <laughs> one guard and she one guard. killed. She right wins the team. round for her team. I'm going to count the frames where your crosshair placement's acceptable right now. Going After out. you jump out. I'm going long. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 
12. All right, somebody can go back and check, but I counted 145 frames total, and we were accurate for 12 of them, otherwise known as 8%. While we're in Phoenix Ult, where our only goal is to win a fight. Like the only thing that matters while we're in Phoenix Ult is a gunfight. And you proceed to have crosshair placement that's arguably good for 8% of your ult limit uptime. So no shit you die. In fact, there's a 92% chance that when they peek you, you're not ready for it. Those are not good odds. This is better. But again. So when you attack on bind, you want to come out of both lanes at roughly the same time to make defending the hardest. And we have failed every single time so far. And I don't care if you think it's because they're too fast or because you're too slow. It actually doesn't matter to me. As long as you both come out at the same time, I'm happy. So if you convince them to go slower, that's fine. Or if you go faster, that's also fine. Doesn't matter to me. They're both fine. Enemy spotted A. He's back triple dude like you just flashed nothing again you no sorry sorry not nothing you blinded jet again <laughs> it's poor jet you know we, we don't play against the Chris, you want to come to the tower? big shower is smoking heaven the fuck? it's our bomb Bro, you never look at your minimap. I'm convinced. I'm convinced you actually never look at your minimap. You're also you're also deaf. You heard that guy on the left. How many hours do you have? What the fuck? Why is our game sense so poop? Why is it so poop? It's, it's all game sense issues. You, you, you fail to realize that this brim is dead right here. And so you waste a molly. You hear the Phoenix right here. Like... Bro, like, what are you flashing? Walk me through it. Walk me through it. Walk me through it. Walk me through it. So you've you've cleared long. You see nothing. And we know there's one hookah. Okay. What are we flashing? Let's ignore the fact that your flash popped behind this fucking archway, by the way. Let's ignore that. And let's say you actually threw a flash that popped where I think you wanted it to pop, which is like probably here. Okay. Who's blind by that flash? Let's draw the, the box. Okay. Anyone in this area is blind. Oh, sorry. And like on the tube. Why? Who, what's what's your intuition that somebody's in this area? We just see one hookah. Or do Texas? You cannot possibly call this Texas. <laughs> Might have mistaken the hookah guy for being below the hookah. This your flash doesn't hit below hookah. Don't push that hookah again. Flash. <laughs> your Phoenix ult value is so shit. Your Phoenix ult, you broke one trip. I'm booting up Valorant. I, I need to lead by example right now. Because I'm saying his crosshair placement is bad. I'm saying he's not getting enough space. But I'm worried he cannot visualize what that looks like. And so I am going to demonstrate. So let's talk about this one first. Okay. So we ulted out through Hookah. Come on, let's go. Clip it. Let's break it down. Now, I ulted from way back here because this is where you chose to ult, okay? I'm not agreeing with this ultimate position. However, it's fine. Okay, so first of all, I peek CT because they might be CT. And I'm ready to fight them across his head height. I peek close box because they might be close box. I'm ready to fight them. I hop out with my knife because if they shoot me midair, I'm dead anyways. Does that make sense? Like, jumping out with my gun is slower. I have a bit less speed. And if they shoot me while I'm here, so what? I can't shoot back. So I knife out and switch back to my phantom so that by the time I land, I can shoot again. This is a micro optimization, but don't be confused. Valorant is almost like a speedrunning game, okay? 
optimizations like this they buy me time if i clear that and i do this and i get to i get to move a bit faster because of it okay let's keep watching i land my crosshair is at head height until i decide it's time to clear long and notice if they're playing this off angle on me or something i'll die okay i'm clearing tucked on angles i'm going to explain when you are phoenix ulting it's very rare for an enemy to willingly take an off angle against you because it's expected that somebody's following you let me make that clear so let's pretend that this pink line is two people okay if you play an off angle to fight two people yeah you're gonna kill the first guy pretty easily in fact but then you're gonna get traded and the problem is that first guy, the kill doesn't matter because it's an ulted Phoenix. So on average, people don't play off angles against ulted Phoenix because they want to have cover. In fact, they're probably not going to be in this corner, but they can't really come out here either because of the threat of long, but they probably try to play something like this, you know, very careful. Or like what we saw, the dude carefully peeks out right here. So I make it a point to clear this on angle before I'm done. So now I can tell my long player that Octagon is full clear. You'll notice the only remaining threat. And if I were like really, really, really learning Phoenix, I would grind this out because I made a mistake and I realized that. Come on, let's go. And so second time through, let's clean this up. I realized that after I clear here, I need to be able to clear all of this. So I have to be a bit faster. Now let's look a short. So you decided, I believe, to ult over here. He's a bit passive, but on, sure. I just come out. And notice I can get all the way in. My ready. And now let's pretend I get hit by a trip. Go. Just like you did. I can still get into U-Haul if I'm fast enough. You're like a, you're a buffed Sova drone when you're in Phoenix Holt. Uh, I wouldn't Phoenix Holt back here, by the way. I'm greedy. I would come up here. Come on, let's go. Because I'm going to get to clear way more. Notice you can come all the way through you haul here and even fight back sight. Way better. You're too slow. And the way you clear shit is too newbie. You're a noob. I don't like noobs. Also like to point out that after your flash, you didn't even clear pocket. Like if they're playing right here right now and they're full blind and they're just praying that you don't kill them. Like this is their POV right now. You don't even clear it. I know exactly what you are. Where your buddies are B. I know exactly where you are. made teleports at 1021 on the clock here in the VOD. 1021. I believe a literal enemy has taken the teleporter. 21 seconds. I think I just recently saw your lamp explanation hold at the time. Yeah, no, I can tell your problem. Your problem is you're trying to learn too much and it will never work. It's detrimental. You're thinking way too much about the game. You have to learn in tiny little bite-sized pieces and you're skipping over all the fundamentals. Where the fuck is your minimap light switch? It's nowhere to be seen. You're out here trying to learn like the intricacies of holding U-Haul optimally while you're in Platinum 3 and you don't even look at your minimap. Your priorities are so out of whack, it's not even funny. You don't aim your crosshair at head height and you're out here like, let's go study optimal bind macro. No, no, look at this shit. You hear that? That was Cypher teleporting. You don't even notice that because you know what? You're out here thinking like, okay, I've got U-Haul. Now, how do I hold U-Haul correctly? And the worst thing is, if this was a retake, let's pretend that your dudes are over here and we planted. The worst thing is you're still an idiot because they've got Brimstone ult and you shouldn't be playing U-Haul because they're just going to retake A with Brim ult and you lose. <laughs> so you still can't be U-Haul. <laughs>
I don't need to see more. It's very simple what you need to work on. I'll show you when exactly you should have noticed, by the way. I know exactly what you are. Now, how come this is when you should have noticed? Can you tell me? This is exactly when you should notice your teammates are B. Why? Can you tell me? Teleport? No, wrong, wrong, wrong. Let's pretend sound is off. Teleport might not be us. Oh, Molly. Elaborate. I cannot fire my gun. Ding, ding, ding. Perfect, perfect. I wanted to make sure you understood the concept behind the minimap light switch because this is going to be your homework. Right here, there's no reason you shouldn't look at your minimap because you can't fire your gun. You have util out. So this is precisely when I would have noticed my teammates were going B. I may have noticed earlier because I'm really like good at the game and I would hear context clues and whatnot, but this is the bar I'll be holding you to in your next VOD, okay? I don't need you to hear the TP. I don't need you to like hear the call. I don't need to do any of that shit. You can mute your whole team for all I care. But anytime there's information on the minimap while you should be looking at it and you miss it, that's a strike in your next VOD. You got it? That's simple. So if there's information on your minimap that you should see, like right now, you should see your teammates to teleport to B because you can't fire your gun. This would be a strike in your next VOD review. Does that make sense? Are we crystal? I'm going to watch your next round and I'm going to tell you, we're going to break it down real quick when I would be looking at minimap and when I wouldn't be. Okay. I'm going to go showers. I'd be looking at my minimap right now. Minimap, 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 minimap. Minimap, I'm still in my minimap. Believe it or not, right now, minimap. Okay, I'm waiting. Minimap, minimap. I'd see that Reyna back triple. I'd see that safe for U haul. Minimap, still minimap. I'm second man. Minimap, minimap. Minimap, minimap. Minimap, minimap, minimap. Minimap, minimap. Crosshair! Minimap. Minimap, minimap. Minimap, minimap, minimap. Still the minimap. Minimap, minimap. Minimap, I'd see that this H has res. I'm still minimap. Crosshair. One flank, one flank. A cubby. Crosshair, crosshair. Whoa. Okay, and now do you see what we did wrong? One flank, one flank. You just ran across, exposed yourself to the short guy that you should know is there. You shot a bullet U-Haul, which makes no fucking sense. There's two dudes left alive and it's CT and A short. Okay, sure. You come over here. Minimap time. Crosshair. Crosshair, 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 crosshair. Even here, believe it or not, crosshair now because you're last, last alive. Okay. So that round would have been 90% minimap and I would have called you out. Your strike would have been right here. One flank, one flank. A copy. Bam. So I want you to know in your next VOD, this bullet would be a strike because I would realize that you're not aware of the situation that you should be aware of because you should have been in minimap mode earlier. You should be aware that it's CT and short, but for whatever reason, you seem to think there's one U-Haul, but there isn't. There can't be one U-Haul impossible i also don't like that you didn't point out the sage res but that would not be a strike one more round one more round so you get the this is how i'm yeah. going to be reviewing your next vod i'm trying to show you so that way you can review it first mini map crosshair mini map and what would i have seen on the mini map one elbow, one CP, okay? Come on, let's go! You push elbow, you push elbow. Crosshair, crosshair. Now what are we doing? What are we doing here, bro? Are we pushing or are we backing off? Crosshair, crosshair, mini map. Yeah, and so now this is unjustifiable. This, this peak is like, you're not going to get a strike for this, but like, look at it. And if you're aware, you should realize this is the last guy and A site is open. I, I wouldn't be walking out of the open like this. Anyways, if you were looking at your mini map sufficiently, you'd realize that this is the last dude, Sage. A site is open, but then we'd also realize she has res. And you die here, so now it's actually, you kind of have to hit back off. Yeah, back off. So now it's actually like, it's bad to call the team over A. But why is A clear? What do you mean? Because we saw Reyna. We saw Brimstone and we saw Sage and they have Reyna, Brimstone and Sage left alive. You miss it. You miss the Brimstone. I'll show you. I'll show you the Brimstone. He got an assist right here on the kill of our rays while we're taking the orb, which means he smoked Hookah, which puts him like here and like rotating and like flanking. Now let's keep watching. Come on, let's go. You push elbow. You push elbow. Air for no 
Is this ultimate? Are we pushing or are we back now? And now here's a smoke for B long. And Brimstone cannot smoke B long from A site. It's impossible. Impossible. Brimstone has to be like here at the most. I guess technically he can be flank, but he's most certainly not on A site. Is the way I scale long okay here? It doesn't fucking matter. Boom, 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 boom. Steph, your problem is that you ask questions like that while ignoring your fundamentals. You're too excited about the strategy of this game that you proceed to play terrible Valorant because your your fundamentals are that bad. Mini map, light switch. You are painfully unaware. This is the only thing I will be reviewing next pod or when it comes to strikes. You're too excited about like the strategic element of the game or whatever. You're out here trying to play like money ball or something. Like, you know, like, optimize like baseball strategy you're like out here trying to do that except you have a batting average of point like zero one and you can't throw the ball hey woohoo jin here did you know that i stream every weekday doing vod reviews and playing ranked if you enjoy the videos the best way to support me is to show up live if this video was just uploaded it's very likely that i'm streaming right now all of my coaching is free but that means i need to make money in other ways please consider supporting me with a discord subscription if you can afford to do so i run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day at 2000 subscribers i'll be booking a flight out to eu and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.